Hey guys, my name is Jamin. This is my channel PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of do-it-yourself computer repair and upgrade videos. In this video, I'll show you how to install Windows 10 onto a Dell computer. Before we begin, two things. First, please remember to like, share, subscribe if this was helpful. If I do help you solve a problem and you want to leave a super thanks, even a couple bucks, guys, goes a long way to me making the videos as well as staying available as possible for questions. If you have a question and you don't see it below in the FAQs in the description, uh, feel free to leave it. I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. Second and lastly, a quick shout out to my sponsor, NiceHash. NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means is that you can now rent out your computer's unused power online to people who mine cryptocurrency and get paid for that in Bitcoin. Great way to make some money on the side with no work. Great way to investigate the world of crypto with no risk. Uh, I'll tell you more about them at the end of the video or you can click here for more information on them. So now let's get into the install. Here I have my Dell laptop. Here I have my Windows 10 install media on a USB. This install assumes that your computer either does not have a working operating system or for some reason it's not loading up. So we're going to use an install media USB to install Windows 10 here. If for some reason you want to purchase it instead, look in the repair tools list in my Amazon store. It'll show you an example of the correct item to get. So to start the install, insert the USB, turn on the power, and start tapping on F12. Now depending on what year computer you have, this may look a little different, but you're basically looking for this section, one-time boot settings, or UEFI boot options. So here you see the boot manager, hard disk, or SAN disk, USB. That's what we want, because we want the computer to boot off of the USB and to access that install media. So I'm going to scroll down to the USB and hit enter. The next screen you'll see should look like this. Also guys, remember, make sure your computer's plugged in through this. You definitely don't want your computer losing power during the install. So right now I have all my settings the way that I want. I'm gonna to go to next. And then it says install now. Some terms and conditions. Click on accept, next. And now this is two options here. Install windows and keep files, custom install windows only. So I'm going to do a custom install. This is assuming it's a new hard drive or you want to wipe everything. If you want to save your files, um, the best way to do that is to back up your computer first. But if you guys want to save files and, and, and save work, you would be selecting this option on top. That's a different video to make sure that you save your files. In this video, I'm going to show you how to just delete everything and install a new operating system. So I'm going to select the bottom option. And then again, you're going to see a list of partitions. Again, I'm deleting everything, installing a new operating system starting from scratch. Um, so I'm going to delete all these partitions. If you want to save your data, depending on, on which partition it is, again, you would save that, but that's another video. So for this video, I'm going to go through each partition and I'm going to delete them one at a time. Now all I'm left with is drive zero, unallocated space. You should see roughly the size of your hard drive there. That's where I want to install it. So make sure that's clicked on and hit next. And now the install process starts. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice. So you'll hear that uh, Cortana start talking. What I did is I clicked on the mic here to mute her. Um, if you want it on, then you can voice activate uh, voice prompt through the rest of the options by saying yes or no. Uh, but we're just going to keep that muted. So for now, let's start with the region. United States is selected. That's where I am. So these are some other options you're going to see. I'm going to hit next. Is this the right keyboard layout? Yes, it is. Do you want to add a second keyboard layout? No. I'm going to hit skip. So at this point, let's connect you to a network. What's going to happen is if you connect to Wi-Fi here, it's going to prompt you to enter your Microsoft account or create a Microsoft account, and it will not let you pass that. 
Um, so what I like to do here is just say I don't have internet um, and then get everything hooked up and hook up to internet later. I don't like being forced to have a Microsoft account. So I'm just gonna click on I don't have internet. It's gonna double check with me. Um, I'm gonna just hit yes, continue with limited setup. I don't have internet. Who's gonna use this PC? I'm just gonna call it Dell. Uh, asking me to set up a password for now. I'm just gonna skip. I just want to get this install done. Again, these privacy settings, it's up to you guys. You can do whatever you want. I don't like giving people data without them paying for it. Um, I'm kind of weird that way. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn all of these off. Um, again, you can do what you want, but I just like turning these things off. So I'm going to hit accept. And then again, I'm, I'm not going to do this now. And these are just, again, some of the options you're going to look at. So now it's, it's almost done. Um, all the settings are saved. All the options are saved. It's just going to get done the install now. All right, so now we're at the desktop. Windows 10 has been installed fully. Okay, guys, so now that your install is done, you're here at your desktop. The next thing you want to do is fully update your computer. Because this is a new install, there's a lot of updates, operational updates, security updates, a lot of updates that have got to be run. There'll be a video link up here that explains in a little more detail how to get those running, how to make sure they all complete. So before finishing up the video now, as promised, a little more information on my sponsor, NiceHash. As mentioned before, NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace, which means you can now rent out your computer's unused power online to people who mine cryptocurrency and you get paid for that in Bitcoin. Again, it's a great way to make some money on the side with no work. Great way to investigate the world of crypto with no investment. You already bought the computer. You already own it. Uh, the power is just sitting there not being used. NiceHash is also a one-stop shop for all things crypto. You can use your, their wallets for your money. You can use their research tools uh, to investigate other cryptocurrencies. You can use the exchange to trade for other cryptocurrencies. It's a great thing to do, guys. It's fun. It's easy money. Uh, you can check them out here. Any questions, leave me down below in the comments. The only other thing to show you before this video is done will only affect a small amount of you. Most people with newer computers, the Windows product ID, maybe you've heard of that, that will auto load from the motherboard into your operating system and you'll be all set. For some of you with older computers, it may not. Um, your Windows may not activate and you may have to manually enter it. I'll show you where to go and do that now. Okay, so to check whether your Windows is activated, go down to the bottom, click on your file explorer, open that up. Go over to the left, this PC, and right click, and go down all the way down to properties. Down here, Windows specifications, if you scroll down a little, depending on your computer, you may see different things. You may see it saying Windows is activated. Uh, here, it doesn't say Windows is activated. It'll only tell you if it's not activated. It'll say Windows is not activated. Um, if that's the case, there's a button here, change product key. Or upgrade your edition you would click on that and you would enter the product key manually uh, or those of you that says Windows is not activated you would click on that and you would change the product code manually usually if, if you have to do that they're on a sticker under your computer if you can't find the sticker sometimes it's also under the battery if you can't find it then you need to purchase it separately um, or, to, or try to find it in, in the paperwork that came with the computer that's the install process guys any questions let me know below in the comments i do try to get to those a couple times a day at least like share subscribe if this was helpful thank you so much for watching guys